Okay, well, I left off with the canteen cup, and I forgot one very important thing. Da -da -da. The purification tablets. I'm sure some of you guys, if you would have let me go all the way through these and then e emailed me or sent posts, well, how do you purify it? That's how I purify it, folks, with uh, portable aqua, agua, agua, vassar. And I'll carry sometimes iodine tablets. Uh, iodine uh, solution and it is it's it's good you there's get online look up how to use it and stuff and it'll it'll tell you I'm not gonna go into that whole thing right now cuz limited time and all so yes and then the other thing I carry with me is a, a gallon bag just regular old Ziploc gallon bag I can store you know a gallon of water in here and I can purify it do the instructions on the uh, purification tabs. Now I carry a Camelback water bottle with me. I like it. It's it's handy. It's uh, it's bomb proof. I've dropped this off many of things. You can probably see some of the scratches and uh, just you know it's gone through its paces. And sometimes I'll carry this with me. This is a the Jo the Joe however Adventure Gear. I got the last part right. Now this is a very thin walled aluminum. Uh, water bottle and it's not bad I, I like it it, just, it has its downfalls and both of these have their downfalls and I'll discuss that one major downfall with the camelback is you can't boil water in it that's kind of a bummer you know so if I'm carrying that and I, I need to boil water or something well I'm just gonna have to stick with purifying with the tablets and tasting the wonderful taste of the tablets so, but you can boil water in the aluminum uh, water bottles. But the downfall of this, they're very thin, they dent, they split open. I'm not a big fan of that whole process there because that's kind of a bummer. Okay, now I also carry the camel, like I said earlier, the camelback. I'll have that on me. I generally just carry my camelback and my camelback right here. You know, I mean, yeah, like I said, this kit is perfunctionary to the point to where I'm going to try to get, I'm going to be seeking rescue and it's going to be two or three days. If I'm out bush piloting in Alaska and I'm up there for it, it's going to be a totally different kit and I'm going to prepare it for, you know, said adventure. Okay, I carry most of the stuff depending, like I said, depending on what I need to carry it in, you know, what, what type of year, you know, what terrain and where I'm going, what I'm doing, what, you know, how I need to carry it. This is the Maxpedition Versa Pack. It's a neat little bag. I like it. Uh, it has a little bonus feature on it that I didn't know when I was buying it. I just kind of wanted it because I could put it on, you know, wear it on my thigh. It'd be out of the way of my pack. I have it on. It can be, I can be in a vehicle, and it'll get out of my way. Now, one of the things is is when you have things hanging off your side. Anybody that's been in the military or has had to carry their pro mask uh, on their thigh. Drove them crazy. I totally understand that, and I totally agree. Drove it just it just drives you crazy. But after about two hours, you forget about it's there. Same thing with this pack. And this being so much smaller than the military issue pro mask, it's really not a big issue. But onto why little neat feature, you kind of got a little gift with it. The leg strap comes off, and not only do you get a bonus little leg strap that you can use for carrying your secondary or a second strap for your secondary or knife, uh, you get a sling pouch. And that can go around your side like a satchel. And I thought that was really kind of neat. I, I didn't realize that until I bought it. And, you know, I was like, oh, okay, you know, I got this. And I started taking it apart. I was like, wow, these things do fully expand. And they, it goes around your side. Now, the knife that I carry with me, which is a part of my gear lane. Now, remember, I'm carrying uh, my EDC with me. Which I have three other knives on my person. My Intimidator neck knife by Mench Made, that little El Cheapo knife, and my uh, Leatherman Wave that I have on my belt. And this is, like I said, a supplement to uh, my EDC. You know? So, I'll go into this pack. This pack's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. I enjoy it. But this is some of the gear that I carry with me. And it basically all revolves completely around fire, means of purifying, filtering water, and my shelter. Like I said, when you're using this kit, 
Think outside the box, people. Think outside the box. Because, just because it says hooded poncho, emergency space blanket, or mylar blanket, does not mean that that is the only intended purpose that it could be used for. Now, this right here is a very sad picture because the intended purpose of this blanket is to be used as a blanket. As you can see in the picture illustrated by this guy, he looks like he's falling asleep. Most likely he's falling asleep due to the fact that he's sitting directly on the ground with his blanket wrapped around him. The first rule of any situation when trying to keep yourself from becoming hypothermic is do not sit directly on the ground. This man has broken that rule. And he's probably nodding and his head's probably going in the downward position because he's dying of hypothermia. You do not just need to use this as a blanket. It can be used for many other things. You don't want to wind up like this guy. He's not doing well. Matter of fact, I might just have to take this take this picture out. I'm laughing because it just it's funny because he's got that really stylish haircut and I guess he was really worried about what he looked like when rescue comes. But anyways, I should take this out because the intended use for this is a blanket, but it's one of those things where you don't necessarily have to have the single mindset of keeping this as a blanket. All this stuff, everything you see here, can be used in many different ways. It's all relevant to how you use and how you think about what you're going to use it for. Like I said, people, if you think outside the box, you're doing good. You need to understand what your situation is, what tools you have on hand, and how you use them. A lot of people go out and they'll buy survival kits, and they'll go home and they'll make survival kits of their own. Look, that's fine. And if you carry them in your, in your car, on your person, in your pack, anywhere you go, train with them. Don't, have be, don't be that guy or gal that goes out there in the woods and says, I got a survival kit with me. And cannot use a magbot and Vaseline cotton balls. Okay, that the a source of fire. You know, don't be that person because I cannot stress more. You need to have redundancy. You need to have a clear focus of what each piece of gear can and cannot do. Everything has its limitations. These things have their limitations. You know, like I said, a lot of people don't like these because they basically don't keep you as you know warm as they need to look in a survival situation you're never gonna be warm you're never gonna be comfortable you're going to be alive if you use these and I'm gonna go into a little video that uh, basically shows you a few ways to use these that I have used and found they work for me now these things are not gonna be the most perfect shelter material neither are these these are not gonna be the most perfect shelter material but with this and if I do, you know, deem it necessary to carry this, with this group of in, with this group of stuff right here, and the rest of the tools that you have, you know, with your fire, you know, your means of purifying water, why shouldn't you? If you've trained with your gear and your equipment, why shouldn't you be able to stay alive until search and rescue can get to you? Okay. Now, one of the things that I want to say is that if you're going to have something like this, make sure you, you it's it's to the point where you know how to, like I said, you know how to use it and you have good confidence in your skills. Okay, well this is Mountain Ghost 556. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this basically gives you an idea, kind of gives you, you know, a rough estimate of some of the stuff in a layer two that you can carry. This is, it, it is a lot of stuff, but then it isn't. You know, this is a myriad of things you can carry, but if you have this on you at all times, at all times if you have just the majority of this, not all of it, you don't have to have all of it, but if you have the majority of this, like I said, take a look. That's not a whole lot of stuff to carry on you at all times, and there's a lot of people that carry a lot more than that with them. So, if you guys got any questions, comments, any ideas, or any way, or anything that I've missed, please feel free to send a post, constructive criticism only. This is Mountain Ghost 556. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay safe, think outside the box, and keep it real.